Hey, yogis. This is a short, slow flow. So we'll move a little slower. We'll hold things a little longer. You might want two blocks just to help with a bit of balancing. And you can leave those at the front of your mat. And we're going to get started in a child's pose. Of course, always the option to have something supporting your knees, any other props you know your body might crave. But then find yourself in a settled child's pose with your hips as close to those heels as feels good so that you can lengthen the spine, surrendering torso, head, elbows, arms wide. You can always use a block under the forehead if it doesn't quite touch the ground. And just take a few moments to check in. So before you even lengthen your breath or bring any kind of control to the body, just notice what's going on. Notice how it feels to be in this shape, everything from the knees to the hips to the spine to the neck. Notice how it feels to breathe first thing, listening to how those inhales affect and move the body, how those exhales allow you to drop into this shape. Just take another moment or so to notice. Letting the eyes get a little softer, the face a little less expressive the shoulders less shrugged. As you bring this sense of intention and begin to actively soften the body into this shape through the mental focus of all the parts and pieces, and then start to actively deepen your breath. So find those longer inhales through the nose, longer exhales through Ideally the nose, but the mouth if that feels best. And just feel the body like an accordion expand and contract, empty. Let's go for five. If you can keep the mouth soft, and let the breath flow through the nostrils. That helps us tap into that parasympathetic nervous system, calming mind and body, so that even when you're in this slower flow, whether you're comfortable in shapes and transitions or not, you're able to stay calm and send those signals to the body and brain that you are safe, that there is no need to be alert on alert. Um, any kind of alarm system. And take your last breath, and then I want you to start to just rock your forehead side to side. Ideally, you're on the ground or maybe a blanket underneath of the head, or if you have that block, just make sure you have space to roll. Feel how this massage over the brow, over the forehead feels. Just really taking the time to slow down. We don't always find it in our day-to-day life. So we come to our mat to carve out time to be present, to breathe intentionally, to move intentionally, and to link each and every one of those movements to breath. So on your next inhale, pause through center and push into the hands, lengthen the arms. And then surrender the torso on the exhale, but keep the arms actively pushing you back. Again, like that. Inhale a bit of space away from the ground, lengthen. Exhale, surrender torso, arms stay straight, head may come closer to the ground. Inhale, lift the body, come to fingertips and walk. Exhale over to one side for a little side stretch, keeping hips as far back to heels as you can surrendering when you get there, either planting the palms or staying on fingertips. But this idea of pushing away while you surrender to the ground. And take a breath here. Feel it especially under the right armpit or whatever side you went to, the opposite armpit. And then inhale, come over to the other side. 
through center for the transition. Exhale, surrender, plant the palms, perhaps push yourself back. Find space, reaching, pushing, lengthening. Use the breath. And then inhale, come through center. Exhale, really slowly, round the spine a lot. Keep the hips heavy. Drag the arms and start to stack the body. Pause when you catch those knees. Arms are straight. You're rolling back. You're still rounded, chin to chest. Doming upper back, feeling shoulder blades move away from each other. Breathe into this big hollow out stretch. Now on your next inhale, stack the spine, reach the arms up. And on the exhale, cactus the arms. And in opposition, think about the chest opening the heart to sky. Mindful of the neck, but maybe the nose to sky, elbows back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, round, catch your knees like you could fall back if not for your arms. Inhale, roll up, reach arms up. Exhale, cactus and open. Once more like that. Inhales the lengthen. Exhales the rounding, grabby knees, hollowing out all the way to the bottom. Empty, empty shoulders drop away from ears. Inhale, reach, stack. Exhale, cactus open. Inhale, reach and stack, realign the spine. Exhale, bring the fingertips behind you. Bring the knees in front of you if you have your legs quite wide. And I know this is a lot on the tops of the feet, so you could always bring something folded underneath of those ankles. Just see how it feels to lean back in space, opening the front of those feet, ankles, shins, hands are there to support you. Knees lift any amount and breathe. And then inhale, come back through center. Exhale, crawl forward, two hands and knees, separate them under your hips. Maybe move through a little windshield wipe, a little movement through the ankles, lifting feet off the ground, rotating them to get back into that blood flow, get that blood flow back into the area. And then pause through center, similar to what we did seated. We find cat cows. Inhale, drop the belly. Think about the chest lifting forward, opening almost through the arms as you pull shoulders back. And then exhale, round, tuck the tailbone, belly button to spine, push the ground away and dome the upper back as much as you can, chin to chest. Three times like that, super slow. Inhale, ripples you forward, thinking about more space through the mid and upper back as it extends, maybe the gaze lifts. Exhale, round it out in opposition. Move with your own breath. Trying to lengthen those inhales and match the length with those exhales. And also find the pauses at the top and bottom of the breath when you're in that cow or cat shape. Then come through center. All you're gonna do is turn the fingertips back to face your knees, palms face down. So when you turned the fingertips though, you didn't go inwards, you went outwards. So external rotation of both of the arms, eyes of the elbows forward, thumbs face out. And then see how it feels to take your cat cows from here. Inhale, open, push the eyes of the elbows forward. Exhale, round heels of the hands, heavy little stretch for those wrists for two. Finding those pauses, those moments of stillness in between the transitions that are very much led by breath. 
And then come through center, turn the palms to face you and fingertips face each other. The closer they are, the more intense, the further apart, a little bit less intense. And just push the hands down and away. You might shift side to side, knowing this will definitely intensify the stretch. And my apologies, it's actually if the fingers are closer together, it's less intense and further apart is more intense. Flip those two. And find somewhere where you can breathe, spreading fingers, pushing palms or backs of hands into the mat. And then gently come off of the wrists. Tuck your toes if you'd like as you sit back for a bonus stretch of the feet and just release that from those wrists. Good. Okay. We're going to plant the palms underneath of the shoulders. Tuck the toes and lift up and back into a downward facing dog. Hands can come a little wider, pinkies to the edge of your mat, feet just wide enough, so maybe hip width distance, and just pedal out the legs for a moment so you can get into any stickiness, the backs of those legs. Hips stay high. And then really soften the knees as much as you need to use the arms and push your chest back. Thinking about the hips lifting up and back to the top corner of the room where the ceiling meets the wall. And then from that extension of spine, then pedal the legs again and notice the difference. One heel reaching and then the other, but the whole time arms are actively pushing your chest back to those legs. Head hangs effortlessly in between the arms. And you're really thinking about the shoulders staying away from the ears. So no shrugging at the shoulders, drop them down and away on the back, sliding together. And active arms, soft elbows, but straight arms with the biceps rolling forward, triceps rolling back. So external rotation. And then inhale, come high on balls of feet. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step, step, front of the mat. Forward fold, you can always use your blocks, probably on the highest height underneath of those forearms, as you find a little release of the torso. And if you don't have blocks or this doesn't feel good, you can grab opposite elbows, more traditional hanging shape, but this just allows a bit less of a free fall for the torso, a little bit more support in that hang. Keep the knees soft. Keep the weight in the middle of the foot to start. Really focus on surrendering the weight of the torso, meaning nothing's holding you up here. Head, neck, spine, just hanging. And then see what it is to rock the weight forward into the toes. Heels stay down. They just take less weight. Maybe straighten the legs any amount. Arms still dangling. Spine still heavy. Take an inhale. Stay for the exhale. And then soften the knees and slowly dangle arms and roll up for your entire exhale. When you're empty, you keep rolling. Don't take a sip of breath, a sip of air until you get to the top. And then in mountain pose, you breathe fully and completely through the nose, maybe out the mouth for a little cleanse. Make it intentional. Press into the feet. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, fold over the legs. Move the props if they're in your way. Plant the palms. You're going to step left foot back and then right foot back to plank. Inhale, shift forward and relax your knees down. And on the exhale, still shifting forward, bend your elbows close and back so you lower with control through chaturanga arms, through that tricep push-up. 
And then bring the fingertips nice and wide off the mat and forward of shoulders, elbows high. Push into tops of feet, squeeze the glutes, and we inhale, find a little cobra lift. Exhale, melt down. Shoulders are down away from ears, blades coming together on the back body. A little bit of weight in fingertips, but the lift is mostly coming from the strength of the spine. Thinking about inhaling, making space for the lungs as you open, and then exhaling, controlling the release down. And then pause at the bottom, stack your hands underneath of your head and get heavy through head, upper body. Bend the knees, let the feet come a little bit wider than hip width distance and just windshield wipe those legs. Come through center, straighten your left leg, keep your right leg bent. And start to keep, keep your upper body as it is. Start to press into the left leg, lift the right leg up, squeezing the glute. And then maybe just reaching that foot up and over to the left. Super mindful of the low back. It doesn't have to touch the ground, but it can. You're finding a little scorpion tail twist with the upper body grounded, elbows grounded, chest down. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, straighten the right leg, bend the left knee, lift up and over to the other side. Just see how this feels, especially in the low back, but also through the entire spine. Inhale through center. We'll do it one more time each direction. Exhale, right leg up and over. Inhale through center. Exhale, left leg up and over. And then inhale through center, relax the legs, exhale, hands under shoulders, push up and back into a child's pose. Just let the stretch of the spine dissipate any sensation through the low back. And then ripple forward, inhale, exhale, tuck the toes and lift into your downward facing dog. And this time, make your down dog a little shorter. So have your feet close enough to your hands that you can relax your heels pretty close, if not all the way to the ground. And hands close enough. So you're almost in such a short dog that it's like a forward fold with palms fully down and feet fully down. And just shift back and forth between the two. Should feel like a nice little stretch. And then pause when your weight is through center, a little bit more towards the feet. So pushing yourself back into that inverted V sensation. Fingertips of the right hand ground down. Left hand comes across and grabs the outer right ankle. And then twist underneath of your right armpit. Take an inhale. Exhale, twist and look, maybe even to the sky, bending left elbow as much as you need with the strength of the arm, helping open chest to the right. And then inhale, come through center, left fingertips touch down. Exhale, right hand grabs outside of left. Pull yourself underneath of that left armpit, look towards the sky. Breathe, use every exhale for a bit of depth in your twist. And then inhale through center, bend your knees, relax your arms, forward fold, and exhale, slowly roll up. Good, come to the front of your mat. Have your props nice and close on the highest height for when you want them. You might want them right at the front of your mat. We're gonna have our hands at our hips, transition weight, so this is where we move really slow. Transition weight into the right leg. Soften the knee, know that all the transitions are just as important as any shapes we make. Inhale, lift the left knee. Exhale, bend the right leg, step the left foot back and to the left so that you can drop the heel and find warrior one. So hips are facing forward, all 10 toes are almost facing forward, back foot's on a bit of an angle, and both heels are grounded. Tuck the tail, find a long spine, a tall spine. Find that little press back with the strong straight leg and let that open through the calf and activate the glutes. 
and bend into the right knee just enough that it comes over the ankle and then option to reach the arms up. Big inhale for expansion. And on the exhale, remain the same in the legs, but find a little back bend. So just even the arms moving in your peripheral vision. Gaze can stay forward or slightly up as long as you're not straining the neck. And use the core and glutes to keep you stable, the shoulders dropping down away from ears. Lots of effort, but also find the ease. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. One more like that. On the inhale, hands come to hips. Gaze looks down. On the exhale, transition the weight into the right foot, but I want you to come so slowly off of the left foot that you almost drag the toes across the mat as you stand and the knee comes up to hip height. And then bring the left foot inside of the right leg for tree pose. So either above or below the knee, stabilize. Your blocks are there if you want support under your foot. See if you can drop your hips in line, a little tuck of tail, a little activation of core, optional arms here or lifted. Breathe here for three breaths. Every inhale, imagine a bit of expansion through chest, tall spine. Every exhale, you feel more grounded through that standing leg and the pressure of the foot and inner thigh or inner leg creates that stability. And then inhale, hands back to hips, super slow. Exhale, left knee to hip height, soften the right leg. Bend the right knee more, stepping back through molasses. Inhale, left toes touch way back. Exhale, open your hip, drop your back heel and find warrior two. So heel to heel alignment, bend into the front knee and externally rotate. So pull that hip back so that you can see your first two toes. And then push the back leg strong and straight. Arms are the accessory reaching in either direction. Tall spine, not extending the low back, overextending the low back, so a little bit of a tuck and activation through glutes and core keeps that subtle. And then not opening the spine and jutting those ribs forward, keeping that contained and in line all through the zip up of the core. Good. Two times, we inhale, straighten the leg, reach the arm up. Exhale, slowly re-bend with control, arms wide. Again, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, straighten and stay. Exhale, hips back, arms, torso forward, reach, reach, reach. Find triangle pose, hands settle on the leg or you can bring a block in inside of the leg and reach up with the top arm, twisting your chest, stacking your shoulders and hips and finding those obliques, those abdominal muscles on the sides of your torso to stabilize you and breathe here. Staying active through both legs, keep pulling the back hip back in space while the torso gets lighter away from the leg. And then press into the feet, inhale, rise up. Exhale, soften into that warrior two. Inhale, cartwheel the hands, fingertips to the ground, and just find a low lunge, back knee touches. Using your blocks or not, you straighten your front leg and find a hamstring stretch over that leg. Take a breath. trying to ease as much tension in the upper body as you can with the weight coming over that hamstring. And then inhale, come back through center into that low lunge. This is the fun part. Grab your blocks if you have them. And on your next exhale, bring the blocks forward and high of the foot. You're going to lift up and off of the back leg completely and fold into the standing splits. 
So right leg is straight, torso is heavy over top. Plop blocks are there to bring the ground a little closer so you can soften the elbows and shoulders. The left leg reaches up any amount. Pressing into the right foot, find the exhale, surrendering over the leg one more time. And then inhale, start to lift up, soften the right knee, move slow, come to standing with the left leg along for the ride, coming to hip height. Stand there for a moment. And then relax the foot down and shake it out. Good. You can sway your hips. We'll take a little flow in between the two sections, the two sides. So once you've grounded the feet, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step the right foot back and then the left. Exhale, shift forward to plank. Knees come to the ground. Inhale once again. And on the exhale, lower with control. Elbows by your side ribs. Fingertips wide and off the mat, elbows high. Inhale, we lift, open, exhale, we surrender. One more time, inhale, squeeze the glutes, loop the shoulders back, exhale, surrender. Bring the hands underneath of the head, bend the knees, windshield wipe the legs. Maybe you just stay here if you're feeling anything in the low back, or if you'd like, we'll take one scorpion tail twist on each side. Bending one leg, straightening the other. Exhale, lifting that leg and twisting it over to the other side. And then inhale through center, switch. Exhale, lift and touch maybe those toes to the ground. And inhale through center. And exhale, relax the legs, hands under shoulders. Push yourself back to a down dog through a child's pose if you'd like. And then find your down dog for a couple breaths. Lifting hips higher, heels closer to the ground, head more surrendered. Inhale, high on balls of feet. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, little steps, front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift when you get there, and then exhale, fold over your legs. This time, press into the feet and root to rise on the in-breath to come up. And exhale, hands to your hips. Bring the weight into your left foot and lift your right knee up to hip height. Moving super slow, finding your balance. Inhale here. Exhale, soften your left knee and step the right foot back wide to the right so that you can drop the heel, maybe walk the left foot more to the left and plant the entire foot on a diagonal and then bend the left knee any amount over that front ankle. Stack the shoulders right over the hips. Activate the quads, the glutes, the core, and then option to reach the arms up and take a breath. Feel the strength, use the exhale, inhale for length, exhale for a bit of depth and activation. And then if you want to add on that back bend, you're inhaling with a tall spine, exhaling, just bringing the arms into your peripheral vision, letting this open the upper back, neck stays protected, gaze may just lift even if the head doesn't move back at all. And then inhale, restack, hands to hips. Exhale, get heavier through the left foot, get lighter on the back toes, and start to drag the right foot slow, 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 all the way up to hip height. Take a moment. And then exhale, open the hip and land the foot somewhere inside of the left leg, above or below the knee. And find your true pose. Find your balance by pressing the leg into the foot, foot into the leg. You can even mimic this with your hands or eventually reach your arms up. Challenging balance by lifting gaze up. 
And taking three breaths wherever you are. Maintaining the pressure in the lower portion of the body at least. And the lightness in the upper portion of the body. Even the gaze is soft wherever you end up looking. And then slowly hands through center. Slowly right knee up to hip height. Soften the left leg. Inhale. Exhale. Step way back. Open the hips and drop into a warrior two stance. So much wider. Heel to heel alignment. Back toes on a bit of an angle. Front toes forward. And as the knee bends, it comes tracking over the middle toes, not the big toe. External rotation. So you're pulling this left hip back. And your torso lands right over top of the hips. And take a breath. Two times. We inhale, straighten the arms and leg. Exhale, rebend and tee out those arms. Slow inhale, lifts. And slow exhale, lowers. Pause here. Next time you come high, straight leg, straight arms. And on the exhale, pull the hips back in space. Reach the left arm forward, torso follows. Find a triangle pose, landing the left arm somewhere on the leg or on the block inside of the leg. And stacking shoulders to twist the chest towards almost the ceiling if possible. Gaze may follow. Hips hug back. So Right hip is hugging back in space and trying to stack itself over left. Like you're stuck between two planes of glass. And take two more breaths. The obliques turned on. Not dumping weight into the bottom leg, lifting away from it. Last big inhale. Long, slow exhale. And then inhale, come back to warrior two. And exhale, windmill the arms, frame the foot, pop onto the ball of the back foot and drop the knee. Inhale, fingertips to the ground or use your blocks. Exhale, you fold over that straight left leg. Straighten it, hip moves back, coming to heel, surrendering the torso for a little hamstring stretch. See if you can keep the hips over the back knee so you're not relaxing the hips all the way to the ground. And then slowly come forward, find your blocks from your low lunge, tuck your back toes, lift up onto your left leg, straight left leg, right leg up behind you, and you're just taking a standing split, surrendering torso, hands, arms, while you lift the right leg any amount and get the torso closer to the left leg any amount. Breathe. And then start to bend both knees with control, get lighter off the ground or blocks. Lift yourself up to standing. Bring the right knee along for the ride. And then settle the foot down and shake it out. Good. Take a breath in mountain pose, standing tall, finding your feet. Finding your stance. And to get us to the ground, we're just going to take a little malasana squat. So widening your feet, heels in, toes out slightly. Start to bend the knees. Ideally, heels come down, but maybe not. And bring the hands in between the heart with the elbows, encouraging those knees wide. If the heels are lifted, that's okay. Still try to shift the weight back in space, though. So even if you're high off those heels, you can always bring something folded underneath of the heels as well. Find that decompression of the spine as it lengthens, tail towards ground. And then gently settle the hips, 
Straighten the legs in front of you. Sit up nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, hinging at the hips, flexing feet towards you. Can you reach for those toes? You don't actually have to grab them. You can grab the ankles instead. But just let this be a reminder to stay tall. And then any amount, soften the elbows to get you further forward. Not down, but forward. Take a big breath here. Long exhale. And then let it go passive, soften the toes, the knees. You can even bring the legs apart. Torso just rounds, arms by your side. And slowly roll yourself up. And we're coming on to our back, bending your knees, sliding to the center of your mat, finding yourself on your back. I like constructive rest with the feet wide, knees together, hands to belly as an option for Shavasana. If you need to take any other movements your body's craving, like a windshield wipe or even a little twist, you're welcome to. Whatever you do, be slow. And when it is time to find your rest, turn that slowness into stillness. And tune your focused attention towards what it feels like to be still, to no longer recruit the muscles that were required for practice, not even the control of breath. Notice it automatic. Just observe. And let that be your shavasana, your final meditation, your final rest but not sleep rest, aware, conscious, awake rest. And you stay here as long as you can. When the time comes to move, do so super slowly, mindfully, and take some of this slow flow mentality into the rest of your day and week. Thank you for letting me guide you. Namaste.